What's up guys? So a lot of you have been begging, 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 begging. How do you put outside a circle? How do you put outside a circle? How do you put outside a circle? How do you get that extra distance to get to the basket when you're outside a circle? Well, you guys know I am not much of a, this is a technique, this is how you do it kind of thing. I, I don't tend to do that a lot. I, my videos tend to be more general, but I'm gonna give it a try and let's see how this happens. So on today's Tip Tuesday, putting outside the circle. So when I approach a outside the circle putt, there is a few factors I look into. Before we even get into how I do it, this is what I'm looking at. One, is there anything that's going to impede my disc getting to the basket? You know, being further away from the basket, I might need to throw higher. Is there anything that's gonna block the basket up high? Two, if I happen to blow by the basket, what's behind it? Is there water behind it? Is there OB behind it? Is, is it worth it? And three, how have I been putting that day? If I've been putting bad, there's no way I'm going to run a outside the circle putt with a chance of having a 20 or 30 foot comeback putt. It's just not. Now, that's where I get into how I approach the outside circle putt because you heard it, 20 to 30 foot comebackers. I am very aggressive when I choose to putt outside the circle. When I'm trying to make the putt, I am very aggressive. Uh, I do not loft the putt. I do not uh, baby the putt so much. I'm not, I'm not trying to just dunk it in. When I putt outside the circle, I'm basically throwing the disc at the basket on a straight laser, as straight as I possibly can throw it. Why? I don't know, I just, a few years ago, that's how I started doing it, and no matter what I do, I just can't get away from it. It's the most comfortable I am. Uh, it helps me when I'm in the woods. If I got a putter size hole to shoot through, I know I can put my putter right through that hole and go in the basket. I don't have to worry about, oh, there's too much up high, there's this or that. I can just, poof, it's going straight in. That has a big backside or downside to it, and that is the, oh my God, I just missed, or it's gonna go bye bye. If I, if I blow the basket, if I hit off the top or off the nubs, at the speed that it goes, I'm gonna have a 20 footer, 30 footer comeback. And I have to know that I can confidently make it. So, with that in mind, this is how I put outside this. So, I got some footage here and we're gonna start off real close to the basket and we're gonna slowly work our way out to just silly range. So, as you see, it's gonna stay, my normal putting style is going to be a nice lofty putting style, and this is my grip. And as I putt, you guys know already, I hold my disc out, I turn it in, I go to my leg, and then I pop. I make sure that I pop, the fingers pop out. So, that's just a simple putt, you guys can watch the video real quick. You're probably watching them already as I'm rambling. We're going, we're getting out to about the 30 foot mark now. So around the 33 foot mark, not 30 foot, a little past 33 is when you can start jump putting. So we're gonna start jump putting and what you'll notice is my whole form changes. So yeah, the putt's gonna come out like a laser. Uh, real quick, my grip actually changes to this. Don't know why. It's almost the same grip I use to backhand putters and mids. Uh, but I just, I come up high and I'm throwing it as flat as I can right at the basket. Like I said, I don't know why I do it. I can make long putts lofting them in. But I just, I have so much confidence in that style of putt. I mean, I'll step out to what, 50 feet, like in this video right here, and I have the confidence that I can just throw it in. Now, you're going, okay, Rob, that's great. You, I watched you throw a bunch of putts in. How are you actually doing it? Well, there's a lot of momentum off my back foot. Uh, I am planting back on my back foot and I'm springing myself forward. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely, my whole body weight is shifting forward. Uh, but the main thing I'm really doing is I'm curling my wrist. Uh, when you're putting, you won't really break your wrist. Let's see if I can get in the camera. When you're putting and you come down, you're not really breaking your wrist. Your, your wrist is coming in but you're just extending your fingers. You're extending your fingers flat, and that's really all the pop you need to make most all your putts. Um, but when I get outside the circle, 
I spin, I spin the disc. I, I'm actually curling the disc back, breaking my elbow and throwing it. I'm throwing it dead at the basket. Like I said, I don't know why I started doing it. I just have extreme confidence in doing it. And that is how I putt outside the circle. So that was a very vague how I putt outside the circle. If that didn't quite cover it, let me know. Let me know in the comment section and I will gladly go more into my lower body, uh, maybe zoom in more. Give me some tips on how I do it, because you guys know I don't, I'm not very technical when I do my tips. My tips tend to be pretty general, you know what I mean? So, yeah, guys, until next time, <laughs> as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below. Say, hey, Rob, try this next time. And you know, you know I will. You know I will. And as always, subscribe if you want to see me acting a fool on the camera, trying to teach you guys how to play some disc golf. Until next time, guys, take it easy.